Welcome to J. Kenneth Fine Art. I'm John Kenneth Alexander, inviting you to Norman Carton, Paris in the 50s, which runs from January 1st to March 1st, 2024. Norman Carton's career spans multiple art movements throughout several decades. During his career as an artist, he worked as a muralist, set designer, illustrator, textile designer, and educator. Between 1950 and 1953, Carton worked, studied, and painted in Paris. Influenced by the theories of Cubism set forth by Brock and Picasso, Carton's abstract works from this era are often composed of geometric shapes and modulating grids of color, creating the illusion of three-dimensional depth and movement. Combined with his distinctive sense of color and his expressive brushwork, Paintings created during this period mark some of Carton's most dynamic and compelling compositions. And this is one of my favorite Norman Carton paintings. It has the scale and the panoramic format that I love. It has everything I want to see in a Norman Carton painting. Like many of his paintings from his Paris era, it's dark. And from the dark emerges the light, and these vivid reds, greens, blues, and yellow that intermodulate throughout the painting. The lessons of Cubism from Brock and Picasso are visible here. At every turn, we want to see what's behind Carton's eccentric shapes and forms. Although abstract, the painting achieves depth, movement, and spatial tension. Many artists of the post-war era traveled to Paris in the early 1950s. Included in this group, are some of J. Kenneth Fine Art's other represented artists, such as Lynn Drexler, Seymour Boardman, Paul Keane, and Taro Yamamoto. When Norman Carton returned to New York in 1954, the movement of abstract expressionism was in full swing. His painting style of the mid-50s reflected the aesthetics of the times. He exhibited widely, including at the esteemed Martha Jackson Gallery. We hope that you enjoyed this brief tour into the artistic career of Norman Carton. The exhibition is on view at jkennethfineart.com slash current exhibitions.